Hello. Hello everyone, welcome. Damn, I forgot my... I forgot my little stand. Hello, hello, hello. Y'all like my new presents? Oh my God, girl, they so pretty. They so pretty. I didn't even glue them on correctly, so don't judge, please. How are you? I'm going to be doing myself a new set of press-ons. What color should I do? What color, what color, what color? What color press-ons should I give myself next? I already lost a freaking diamond. My nail got stuck in my freaking pants. I almost lost the nail, but first my little diamond came off. I was like, okay, girl, it's okay. They're just temporary. But what color nails should I do next? Yellow? I was kind of thinking of like a pastel yellow. What do you think? What color nails should I do? So I'm going to be doing press-ons like, I'm not sure if y'all been following me for a while or not, but how to call it, I've been doing myself press-ons on this hand because I got hurt on this one. Look at, oh, fuck. So I have a nail on here covering my ugly natural nail because I barely got a nail, girl. So I've been gluing it on. Voila, I have nails now. Oh, purple, purple. I have purple on right now on this other hand, my crusty ass fingers. I need to redo that hand pronto. Yes, girl, pastel yellow. Okay, I really, mm, yeah, I think verde. Girl, I just did green nails the other day. So let me show you guys the nails. I'm going to be putting these on for Disneyland. Were you guys here on my live when I did these? I did some green nails on my live the other day. So, some Hola Sule brown and tan. Ooh, those are cute, girl. Yes. I'm kind of cold and hot at the same time. Okay, hold on. How many fingers do I have? Oh, I already have five. All right, all right. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? All right, I'm going to be adding these little sticky shits. Like, they're just press-on tabs to my little press-on holders. And I'm going to stick the nails on there. How do you decide what nails you're going to do? I have a hard time. Girl, me too. <laughs> That's what I'm asking y'all. I'm asking y'all for some color ideas because I be struggling sometimes to think. I was kind of thinking pastel yellow. Um, but I don't know. So I just put these little tabs on. I have to make sure to rub it on there good. Come on, you little shit. And then I put the nail on top and it sticks pretty good. So I, I apologize if my fingers are dry as fuck. It's really cold today. It's really cold today and I be dry. Lavender. Lavender honey. Oh wait, this one already has a little t a little thingy. How are you guys doing today? I'm so mad right now, man. Um, Some stupid bitch got me mad today. Fucking opening a dispute on my store after she already received her product. 
Like, girl, why are you fucking doing stupid shit like that? Um, no, I don't sell the sticky tabs. I was thinking of putting them on my website. Um, but I don't have enough to sell right now. But you can find them on Amazon. That's where my sister bought mine. Um, because I didn't know where the fuck to buy them. So I was like, girl, I need something pronto to stick these nails on. Because, um, I was gluing my nails. So I, I, I ended up gluing my previous set. Um, with glue. Oh my lord. I could not take them off. I was like, honey, how am I supposed to take these nails off? They're supposed to be just for the picture. Um, and I lasted a whole week with the nails. I literally just ripped off the last one today. But I did um protect my natural nail. I protected my natural nail with um what is it called? With rubber-based gel. Stop stealing from small businesses. Little be probably watching. Girl, I know. People need to stop doing that. Like, that's so fucked up. Like, to me, it pisses me off even more. This specific situation. Because this girl, she messaged me after she received her stuff, right? That we messed up on an item, which we did. And I went ahead and I sent her the correct item. And she waited until that um, to open the dispute. So I was like, dude, that's so fucked up. So the email that I received said that she didn't recognize the payment. And I'm like, really? honey because you just messaged me you little fucking liar you just messaged me telling me you got an item wrong so how are you gonna come and fucking tell me that you didn't place the order so hopefully um i win this dispute because that shit made me so mad i got hot someone tell me what she is talking about I just got here I'm talking about some stupid bitch. Oh, fuck. Did my nail just fall off? <laughs> Hold on, guys. Oh. My disabled nail has lost. Lost a nail. So, let me see. My little tab probably is not sticking good because I took it off already. Yeah. So, this fucking girl placed the order on my website. And she already received the product and everything. Now she's pretending to not have received nothing. No, she's pretending to have never even placed an order. So I'm like, girl, get the fuck out of here with that shit. They're in the garage. Where they're all at right there. They're just, I never put them on the website before. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm talking about. How the people be doing shit like that to small businesses. Like, what the fuck? Y'all, don't fucking do that. Karma's a bitch. Hold on, I need to fix my uña. <laughs> so I got hurt on this nail a long time ago. Like a month ago. So I've been putting on press-ons. And meanwhile, it heals. That way, like, if I bump it, like, the nail falls off easy and I don't lose my own, you know? So they can see sh she has corresponded with you. Sorry, I didn't read the comment. But I ended up um, screenshotting our conversation, like our emails and stuff like that. So I'm hoping I can win this, this um, dispute because that shit got me pissed. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, girlfriend? Like, don't do that. Don't do that to people. Karma is a bitch. What did what glue did you use? Um, I ended up using the labeling adhesive to glue on my nails. But like I was saying that I protected my natural nails by applying um rubber based gel, which is a thick gel. That way you don't rip off your natural nails. Patrick! Let me see my child over here. 
So right now I'm just gonna prep my new press-ons. File the little tip a little straight. Um oh what's OML? Hi Oscar, my bestie in here. What advice would you give a beginner nail tech, especially when trying to start clientele? Okay, girls, so here's my advice. Wear some nails, please. Wear your work so that when you go out in public, you are your walking advertisement. Because they're going to be like, oh my God, girl, where'd you get your nails in? And then you're going to be like, girl, I did it myself. And they're going to be like, oh my God, you did that by yourself. And in their brain, they're going to be like, damn, well, if her nails look good already and she did them on herself, I wonder what... My nails are going to be looking like if she does them for me, you know? So then, boom. You give them their, your Instagram and you have a potential customer. Um, It's going to take a while to get some customers. So just don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Because people think it's going to take a month or two to have a full clientele. And then they already are getting um desperate and unmotivated which we all go through it trust me we all go through the same thing but you have to be patient because it doesn't happen from one day to another it actually took me at least a year to start to see um people um, like my clients coming coming and staying or whatever to have like a steady flow but that was when i started doing nails perfect like full time so if you're not a full timer then expect it to take a little longer if you fall into a wall and you hit your nail will it fall off um yes i think it will right now i only stuck it with a little tab but when I go to Disneyland, I'm going to have to put a little glue on them because, hold on, let me put um, a glove, actually. I want to protect these. Um, if you want your press-ons to last longer, then I suggest that you put um, glue, like a little drop of glue. Because this tab shit, I don't think will last that long. Let's see if they don't fall in my glove. Your nails are bomb. Thank you. We're going to create some more today. I guess we can do some pastel yellow. That is cute. I fucked up my yellow nails that I had. So I guess I shall make some replacements today. So first, whenever you're going to do like mm, press-ons, because that's what we're doing, you want to make sure to buff the surface of the nail. Do you do an acrylic overlay on top of the press-ons or do you just polish them? I've never done press-ons with acrylic. I mean, I recently started doing my own press-ons. But because I use a rubber-based gel, it's like if it's a thin layer of acrylic. It's that hard. And, um, so you don't really need the acrylic. So if you struggle to lay acrylics flat and smooth and all of that... I recommend you try our rubber-based gel. It's really thick, and it feels like you're wearing acrylics. Not gonna lie. That's why I've been able to survive with these things, because they don't bend. How did you finally get the yellow ones off? Girl, I had to fucking soak them. I ended up soaking them in soap and water. <laughs> Like people were telling me the other day, I'm like, bruh, that does not fucking work, honey. Don't try that. You're going to waste your fucking time. I ended up just sticking a floss stick underneath the nail that was lifted already. And I took it off like that. But the last nail, girl, I had to rip it off. That shit kind of hurt, not going to lie. But fuck it. Fuck it, thug life. Thank you because I tell when I tell people I'm a beginner, they kind of back out and they make me unmotivated. No, honey. Well, do you charge them? Are you charging? How, how, oh, no, we can't talk about prices. But when I was a beginner, I didn't really charge much. Okay, so if you are a beginner 
and you are overcharging, you're not really going to have any clients. So maybe, um, I'm not sure if you charge or not, but if you are and you're overpricing your work, that might be another reason why you scare them off. Because I did that, girl. I used to charge an arm and a leg back in the day. When I was a beginner for a little bit, I was like, fuck that. I really invested all this money. I invested all this money in my education and in nail supplies. Like, I was getting a little desperate already and I wanted my money back. So, how do you call it? Um, I was like, you know what? My prices are going to be a little high. I ain't trying to do no basic shit. Like, in my business cards, that's exactly what I put, actually. I put no basic nails or French. Literally, I put that on my fucking business card. Can y'all believe me? I wish I had a picture of it so I could show you guys, but that's exactly what my card said, okay? I think that was scaring away people. Like, the fuck is wrong with this fucking girl? No basic nails? Like, and mind you, back in the day, basic nails were a thing, okay? That's what everybody and their mama was doing, but I've always kind of liked bling and nail art so even though i sucked at it even though i sucked at nail art i mean it was still i like it passed and so i was getting disappointed because i didn't have no clients until later on i realized like girl your prices are too high your nails your nails don't even last a long time or anything like that. So then it's like, me bajé de mi nube. And then I started charging way less. Like literally almost free until my work got better. So I asked them if they want to give me something they can, but not necessarily so basically free. Um, just, I think you should just charge them enough. Um, so that you could keep buying your supplies. But I'm scared that I won't make anything for supplies. Um, do you have a side job, like your uh, regular job? Is this your side thing or is this your full-time job? I'm thinking about just charge for my stones because I'm a beginner, but they want too much bling. Girl, don't give them an option for too much bling. Be like, sorry, I don't have that. Or tell them that you're not going to charge them for the nails, but you're going to charge them for the bling. And the bling is X amount of money, you know? You have to. I know it's scary because I've been through it already too. All right. So I'm going to use this rubber-based gel because it's a nice neutral tone. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my pastel yellow onto it. So this is rubber base number one. Um, yeah, so what were we saying about prices? Yeah, you have to tell them from the beginning your prices and stuff like that because once, once you don't, like, once you let it, like, fly, it's going to be so hard to make them pay you later on down the road. Trust me, because... I'm not even going to lie, but I discount some of my prices for some of my clients that I've had for years, years from when I started because I feel bad. Well, not bad, but like I'm grateful. But at the same time, it's like I've had them for so long that it's hard to raise the prices on them sometimes, you know, like, um, it's easier for me to charge a new person my actual, like a new person, my actual wage, what I charge others than somebody that I had for eight years type of thing, you know, because they were with me since I charged like fucking nothing. So don't do the same mistake I did. I'm telling you from experience. You will regret it, honey. Off topic, but do you like working with nail forms? No, I do not. They stress me out. I do not like nail forms. I mean, I'm, I should give them another chance, just like gel, I guess. 
Um, I've been working with nail tips since I started. Well, since I started at the salon because when they taught us at school, they do teach you nail forms because that's part of the state board test. And once I started at the salon, I just took so long just even doing the normal nail, like with a nail tip, that I didn't pursue the nail forms because they were not that popular. So now I they stress me out, but I feel like I probably should give them another chance. But I feel like I haven't wanted to for real like do forms because there's nail tips that give you the sculpt the sculpted look just you know that that was the only difference before between the sculpted and the nail tips that you they looked a little different but you could achieve the same look with nail tips so that's why I don't really care for forms. <sighs> Let's see. Yes, you should. Nail forms are easier for me than tips. Really? Maybe I should. You know, when you're just used to something, you um, you just stick to it. But you know what? Before, gel polish used to stress me the fuck out before too. And look at me now, using that shit almost every time. It's like me and Jail are going to be BFFs, honey. So how are you guys doing? So I'm going to apply a layer of rubber-based gel on all the nails. This is going to give them the strength um, so that they do not break when I put them up. When I put them on. Oh, shit. All right, since I'm not filing, I'm going to take off my glove because I'm getting gel all over that shit. All right, all right. Yes, gel polish gives me the blues. Huh? I am Hispanic. I'm sorry, I can't see the damn, the damn iPad. Maybe I should move a little bit so I can see better. Do you buff before putting rhinestones? Um, if I'm doing it over over gel, I do sometimes, not always. So right now I have my heater on. My room is kind of warm, so my rubber gel is like gliding on like butter, honey. Depending on your temperature, your gels can be a little bit more stiff if it's too cold. Which is crazy, you know, because acrylics work the opposite. When it's too cold, they work like they're more wet. And when it's too hot, they dry faster. And the gels are the opposite, you know? Hello. Hi, I can get clients because I'm new in this career and don't have a lot of friends nails by sasha girl you do not need no friends you just need to post your work trust me you do not want your friends and family to be your customers trust me they are a pain in the ass so just practice on yourself on your boyfriend if you have one on your mannequin hand and post pictures on your social medias that's how you're gonna get your clients and you have to go and look for them as well. They're not going to fall out of the sky. So you have to put in a little work and find your clients as well. Because if it was that easy, we would all be popping from the beginning. Sometimes people get lucky and they just get very lucky to get clients like easily. But not all of us get to be lucky unfortunately so we have to work our ass off to find our customers so i would recommend that you start off at like a nail shop that op offers walk-ins maybe and that way you can start building your clientele that way your nail set you have on our press-ons the pink ones yes they are 
Yeah, and my family be complaining we too expensive. Mm-hmm. Yep, they do. Been there, done that. I have no family members that I service at the moment. I used to service family, but not no more. Where did you start doing nails? Where did you start? Girl, I used to... Um, I used to do nails in front of my house. Literally outside of my house. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put... No, I'm not going to put another layer. All right, let me find my pastel yellow. I'm going to be using this one, which is number 141. I'm going to do the thumb all yellow. Do you offer family discounts? No, I do not. When I started, I'm not even going to lie, I did. Because me daba vergüenza. Me daba vergüenza to charge them. Even if I almost fucking worked for free. Like, me daba vergüenza. Now, I don't. Fuck that. It's my fucking job. If I don't work, I do not get paid. So, no. If it is your full-time job, there is no place for discounts. Because they would not give you a discount if that was their money. And it's not the same when people be like, Oh, girl, give me a discount on my nails. And I'll give you a discount when you come to McDonald's or Starbucks or whatever. It's not the fucking same because that's not their business. That ain't coming out their own pocket. So just don't give people discounts and don't expect people to give you a discount. And that's that. Because that is your hard-earned little money. Yes, they don't understand how expensive materials are too. Nope. Nobody will understand the the expense of a business until they have their own. Unfortunately, they will never understand until they have their own business. All right, let's see. I'm going to I'm going to do the pinky one también all yellow. Um, where do you do nails right now? Um, I work in LA right now. I am currently in my house. But I do nails in LA. In Los Angeles. Muy bonitas tus uñas que te traes puestas. Ay, gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you guys for the likes. Don't forget to tap the little screen so we can get some more little likes. And TikTok can show us to other people. El TikTok. I'm really into pearls right now. So I think that's what we're going to be doing um, in a nail. Some pearls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are my nails, my crusty ass fingers. Hold on, let me put a little cuticle oil on this hand. Porque ta seca, man, ta seca. Look at no manches. That's how you know I'm a hard worker because I be dry AF. I be washing my hands so much. And um, I be dry. Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. I moved y'all. There you go. Now I have oily skin. Let me clean it on my pants. So my left hand, my purple hand are acrylics. And these over here are press on nails. Oh, thank you, Native Rose, for the little ice creams. Thank you very much. 
how long do they stand stay for um the press ons i've been having these i i only glued these on with little tabs so these i'm gonna take them off after the live because um i only glued these on with the little sticky tabs no mas pa la foto you know I mean, I'm going to do an ombre. I'm going to be using a sponge to do an ombre. Look at me. Look at me, honey. Doing the ombres now. Like the fuck? Who am I? Who am I, Julie? Who is you, girl? Trying to fucking do ombres here. Look at me. Doing ombres on a live, honey. I don't know how much yellow I need, but I'm just going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do it on this nail. I don't know if this is a middle finger or ring finger. What the fuck is it? But I'm going a, I'm to a pet I'm down here. And I'm going to work it. Work it, work it, work it. So every time that I pat the nail, you guys tap the screen, okay? That's the way it works. I tap, tap, tap. You guys tap, tap, tap the screen. All right? All right, and you have to work it little by little. So I'm gonna cure this in the lab and then add some more. Meanwhile, that one cures, I'm gonna go ahead and put a second coat on my thumbnail. So rubber base, then your glue so the press-on can last. Yes, you have to cure your rubber base on your natural nail first. And then you put a drop of glue and those suckers will stay on good. Thank you guys for the likes, for the little hearts. Today I'm going to be using my new um, sparkle top coat. To give these babies a whole new look. Maybe just on one nail. Or maybe two. Who knows? Y'all find out until if you stick around. I've never heard of that. Of what? Sorry, I have a bad memory. Oh, rubber base. It's a thicker gel that's a base coat and color. They come in different colors, but they're really thick. Is, is anybody else in California? Is it raining where you live? ¿Cuál es el sparkle top coat? Um, en un ratito les voy a enseñar. Es un top coat que tiene brillito. Tiene brillito como doradito. Está bien bonito. Oh my God, I just love yellow, honey. It's raining in New Jersey. It's snowing, girl. It's snowing where you live. Where you live, honey. All right, let me get my ombre nail back. The first time I did an ombre, I was like, oh, fuck, this shit ain't no fucking ombre. I don't see nothing, honey. Like, I was like, either this sponge sucks or my gel sucks. <laughs> Or you suck, Zule. You don't know how to do ombres. But then I realized it. you have to gradually work it. Palmdale? What the fuck is knowing in Palmdale? Girl, for real? So you gradually work it. Work that color, honey. Work it, work it. The more you dab, the more your sponge absorbs the gel. So... You have to go little by little. Okay, you guys see it coming, coming through. All right, cure that in the lab. 
Um, one of these actually I'm gonna do, I think this one. I'm gonna do another layer of the nude. It's been raining all day. It just started raining not too long ago here. Hola, es primera vez que la miro y me gusta su trabajo. Saludos desde Arizona. Hola, Joana, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenida a mi TikTok. Soy media nueva aquí. No me subo tanto, pero ya como que me está gustando el TikTok. Porque estoy haciendo amigas nuevas, you know? I live in Moreno Valley and it's cold. Girl, you live like nearby. I'm like 30 minutes from you. It's trying to fucking call me. She's gonna get mad. Like, why the fuck are you on TikTok again? Watch, I'm gonna answer her. I'm gonna call her. Ooh, she calling me on my other phone. Hello? What? Why did you decline my call? Because I'm on TikTok live. How the fuck did I know? Because I declined you. I know. Look, look. I want to show you this with you. What? What the fuck is that? They are jalapeno poppers. Wow. And I made chicken, creamy chicken with rice. Wow. Did you make the Did you make the jalapenos? Yeah, he said it's good, look, you see? Okay, George, ya vas aprendiendo. <laughs> Cómete un chile por mí, por favor. Ay, wait, there's a a pelo on my neck. They can hear you. I know, but they said, "Hola, Reina." Hi, babe. I'm eating all the chiles. All right, hang up because I can't hang up. Bye. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. We had a little interruption by my sister. She interrupted me yesterday while I was on live packing orders and today. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. No, no, don't fall off. Whenever I stick the nail in the lamp, I think I'd be messing it up at the tip. All right. Oh, somebody's birthday in here. Happy birthday, Elijah. Can you say happy birthday? Yes, I just did. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Elijah. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Ceres. In California, but it hasn't rained. Oh, it's raining out here. All right, anybody else birthday in here? All right, so we're gonna go in with some more dab, dab, dab. So remember, I dab, you guys tap the screen. Tap, 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 tap. Tap that screen, everybody. Tap, 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 It's cold as fuck in Vegas. Do you sell starter kits? Um, Yes, we do. Check out uh, the link on the bio. Um, We have a category called kits, nail kits. So you can find a nail kit there that you like. We have... um. Gel extension kits or acrylic kits. So I ended up doing a second coat on the nude nail because I might do like a little something something on there. Let's see. I think this is a ring finger. I don't know. This is a thumb. And then the ombre nail. I think is the middle finger. I don't know. But let's 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 wait for that. 
<laughs> do you sell oh wait i just read that i just ordered yes girl thank you guys for the love keeping me busy i already forgot about that stupid claim that bitch did on me so thanks um hold on where is the the freaking top coat i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like top coat where are you so this is a sparkle top coat i'm gonna put it on this nail the nude one because i think it looks so pretty on nude check it out check it out hi from chicago hi look it look it look it look it look it look it Ooh, girl so shimmer yes you heard right it's a top coat okay um Keifa, shout out she placed an order right now so check it out check it out wow wow it's like you could do any color and then add some shimmer like your client changed her mind and now she wants sparkle no problem honey Use the sparkle top coat. Damn, I just sounded like a whole commercial, huh? No problem. Sparkle top coat. A beautiful sparkle finish. Check it out. I hate how cameras don't do the glitter justice, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Zule, hey Shakia, I did my nails today, it did not come out well, <laughs> don't worry girl, you just need to practice some more, negative 10 in Nebraska, fuck that, my tits will fall off, hell no, my titties will fall off, honey, alright, let's see, let's finish this ombre, I'll probably put some shimmer on the ombre too. Only because you can never have enough glitter. Let me add more gem. I'm almost done with this ombre. Ooh, yell cheese man. I don't know. We don't have cheese man right now yet. Actually, I was telling everybody about the claim I had earlier before I came on here that I was fucking mad. Pero ya no tengo chisme. Y'all have any topics you want to talk about? So my ombre ain't looking super... Oh, fuck. Ya la cagué. Super, super flawless. But, um... We working in here. We working it. Tap, tap, tap. Remember, I tap the nails and you guys tap the screen. Taking my nails short because I have to go with my husband to immigration interview tomorrow. Good luck, girl. I hope you guys um pass. I'm not sure how that works, but I hope one of y'all gets your papers, whoever it is. Ah, oh, great. I got lint on my shit. You yep, gotta be professional. Has this lint been here? It doesn't move now. Yeah, I think it's already hella dry. Oh, shit. What did I drop? My tweezers. Okay, we're gonna have to tap some more gel over that then. All right, I'm gonna put another top coat of glitter. Um, so that <laughs> too much info. Thanks, nervous, but it'll be okay. Yes, everything will be okay. I'm going to put another layer of the shimmer on it because it can never have enough shimmer. 
honey. And this top coat is a no wipe, so I do not have to top coat it with anything else anymore. Is ready, ready. It'll be looking like highlight, honey. Like you know the one for your face. Ooh, yes, so sexy. Ooh, oh, 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 is it late? No, 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 no. Tips for shrinking press-ons. Mm, what do you mean shrinking press-ons? I'm not a professional press-on maker. I just do this for fun. <laughs> Thank you, girl, for my little speakers. I've been doing nails for five years. Do you have any advice on getting into content creation? Girl, Um, just get your phone and start recording. That's what I'm working on right now, actually. I've been on Instagram for the past couple years and I finally had to hop on here on TikTok because that's where everybody and their mama at. So just create little videos. Don't overthink them either because I feel like the videos that we think are going to be good don't end up getting that much interaction. So it's best to just don't think about it. Just do it. Okay. And even when nobody is watching or liking, um, just keep posting. That's what I've been doing. Because when I started TikTok, I didn't have no views. I'm like, what the fuck? I still don't get that many views on some of my videos. Um, or many likes or comments. Like, some people see the videos, but they don't like or comment. And I'm like, why? But... I'm happy with at least people getting to see the video because I, when I went to college, I went to community college. Oh, I got so hot. I had to take my sweater off. Um, I'm going to put one more coat of yellow so it could be a little bit more full coverage. Um, my teacher used to tell us that it takes somebody at least seven times. They have to see something seven times. In order to remember it. So he made us do a flyer. Seven different colors. Um, and pass it out like two people. That was our assignment. Like for our business. Um, so maybe I would recommend you to try the same. You know. Like put your logo, your nails. Even if it's the same set of nails. Change it into seven different colors. Put your name on all your work, like a watermark, so then people will remember you. Like now, I see people's nails on Instagram. I don't even have to see their watermark, and I know whose nails they are. Aw, thank you for the heart, girl. It looked like a little booty for a second, and I was like, ooh, girl, what is that? Um, yeah, I used to be like... How do you call it? I forgot what the fuck I was saying. Um, no, now I see people's work and I'm like, ooh, I know whose nails those are because they have signature shaping or a specific way that they apply acrylic. Like, I don't know. But I it's because I've seen their work so many times that I'm able to tell, you know? So just like you guys over here seeing Zule's nails, Zule's nails. If it's your first time being here, you're going to be here seeing this shit for a long time. So next time you see my logo or something, you're going to remember, ooh, Zule's nails. I saw that as Zule's nails. Oh, okay, okay, you know? So that's the way it kind of works. Can you see when we send hearts? Um, Yes, I can. Thank you. But I'm over here <laughs> looking at the nails that I'm doing. I'm sorry, I have not been doing very good at looking at the screen. Thank you guys for the likes and the little items. Um, Let's see. Can you make a kid's set? What do you mean by kid's set? Like mini me nails? Like mini nails? The nails that I'm doing are for myself only. I don't sell them. 
I do sell the stuff to make them, but I don't sell these. These are mine. For my freaking hurt nail. Are your nails done with acrylic? My left hand are acrylic and my right hand, the one with the cheetah, is press-ons. Oh shit, I got a lot of nails going on in this lamp. Alright, so this is the thumb. And then just a little tip. Um, whenever you're doing gel gel top coat or whatever don't touch the nails when they come out of the lamp when you're done with the shiny or whatever because it will dull your it will dull the shine so let them cool down before you touch whether it's matte or shiny like the final top coat you need to wait until they've cooled down in the lamp because then they're going to get dull. So if you ever had a client be like, my nails are dull. And they like straight up touch them. It's like, honey, you fucking touch them. Honey, you touch them, ma'am. <sighs> With your own acrylic brand. Yes, I have the video on my YouTube channel. Um, when I did these nails, so if you guys ever want to watch nail videos or you ever curious on how I created something like the little hearts or the cheetah print, you can go to my YouTube channel. It's all my social medias are the same Zulace nails. I have a lot of videos on there. I've been doing my YouTube already for a whole year, so I have plenty of videos going on up in there. All right, I'm going to put shiny top coat on the rest of the nails so I can go ahead and decorate them. Thank you, Yvette, for my globitos. How long do you recommend waiting before touching them? Mm, I would say at least 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Like, do not rub any oil on them. Do not. Touch them with your fingers until like after 20 seconds. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Now I tell my clients like, oh, cause they'll be like, oh, Zulay, um, my thumb, it got dull. Like, yeah, bitch, because you fucking didn't stick it in right. <laughs> And they'll be like, no, I did. I'm like, uh uh, the nails determined you are lying. So they'll be like, uh -huh, you're right. I didn't stick it in right. I'm like, mm hmm, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, honey. So sometimes you gotta remind them, like, stick it in all the way in, face up, because they forget. All right, I think this is the middle finger. I don't know. I feel like doing some flowers. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a floral type of vibe. So I'm definitely going to do some flowers on these nails. I just don't know what kind of flower. Oh, I know. I'm going to do like a sunflower vibe, huh? A sunflower? Which tips in the nail kit can you show one nail just to see, please? Um, which tip come? Oh, the regular coffin tip comes in the in the kit. Let me see if I have one here because um, hold on. Actually, I think I have a picture of it because I just use them on one of my clients. One second. I don't use the regular coffin here in my house. Normally, I only use the long nails because I only do my own nails. But the regular coffin, I use on one of my clients. I use them on my clients who like short to long length. <clears throat> okay, hold on. 
Let me find the picture. Let me find the photo. Mm, whose nails did I do? Oh, here. Here they are. So these are it. Those are the regular coffin tips. They will give you the perfect coffin. Like a nice, slim, perfect coffin. So they're not super, super long. But they are like a nice length for your average client. Because we don't got a lot of crazies who like really, really long nails. So... Sorry, guys. I'm conducting business here. Um, if you guys are interested in a nail class and you're from Los Angeles, I'm going to be having a nail art class. Did I? Oh, no. I haven't put anything on this one. Let me put a shiny coat on this, too. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do to this one yet. I have an idea, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put a top coat now. I'm having a acrylic basic class on March and a 3D and, and bling class on the following day. So if you are in Los Angeles, California, and you want to take a class, hit me up, girl, for the details. <clears throat> I wish I can wear nails. Your nails are so beautiful. Oh, thank you, girl. These are press-ons. You can definitely wear them, too. Alrighty. Oh, shit. This is the... I don't know what finger this is, but this is the thumb. Alright, right now I'm gonna do some florecitas. Mamacita. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me get my acrylic so I can do some florecitas. Um... Oh, where, oh, where are you acrylic? I always lose my acrylic. Like, I didn't lose it. Like, it's in here. But it's hiding from me. Acrylico, ¿dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás? Honey, 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 honey. I just used it. Where did it go? Where are you? Oh, it's right here. Ha 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 Really funny. Alrighty. So I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to be doing some flowers. I'm going to do one first on my ombre now. Only because my ombre ain't that super blended. I didn't do the best of a job. But whatever. Don't matter. My customer here is not picky at all. She's cool. She's cool. Her name is Zule. Um, this is gel polish 141. All right. They're top coat on all of them? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm going to do it on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and buff a little section here. Only because... We want this flower to stick good. And I'm going to be putting bling. And I don't want it to be sliding everywhere. And getting on my last nerves. Like, uh-uh, Felicia. No. I'm going to be applying some pearls. Hmm. Mamacita. I don't know where the fuck that song came from, but it's that good. Mm. Hold on, guys. I'm looking for my bling bling. Se me perdió.
Okay, I'm thinking I might use this bling. Yes, hold on one second. This one, it's so pretty. I believe this one is called Moonlight. These are available on my website. They are not Swarovski. They are rhinestones, crystals, whatever you want to call them. But they look a hella beautiful. So these are my nails. All right. Let's get to this. I'm going to open my pearls. Everything that I have that I'm using right here is from my website. Um, the link is on the bio. So if y'all want to go be nosy and just look at stuff and see how much, go ahead. If you want to buy something, go ahead, honey. Whatever you like, just don't leave yet. We still here. Leave later. Uh -huh. I'm going to be using my Zule Bling Adhesive to apply the bling and the pearls. And then... um. I'm going to spray the glue activator to freeze the glue in place. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a center of the bling and then the pearls. Only because I love pearls. So you want to make sure to add more than enough glue when you're doing this. So... So your stuff can stick good. And sometimes the glue will dry hella fast. So you want to make sure to add a little bit more if you feel like it already drying. Because it be having a mind of its own. Right now I have the heater on. So that might affect the dry time. When it's hot. Just like. Everything else dries faster. Hold on, let me take that little pearl. Get the fuck out of here. You bish. You bish. Look at it. Check it out, honey. So cute. All right. So I'm going to be doing 3D on here. So I need to make sure that this is super dry. If not, my bristles are going to get stiff as fuck. And ain't nobody trying to get stiff bristles. So you're going to spray some glue activator. And I'm going to get my acrylic, which is going to be number one. They're going to be white. Actually, I'm going to use another acrylic too, uh, pastel yellow, just to give it a little pop of color. I'm going to be using number 25 as well, which is a pastel yellow. I'm not sure if we still have this on the website or not, but if we don't, I should be adding it um, soon. It's also a really pretty yellow. And I'm going to be using the number... Let me see, where's my brush? Number 6 3D brush. Oh, no, number four, I mean. I apologize. Number four, 3D brush for my floor. And... Are your full tips all the same length? No, we have um the XL, Stiletto, and Coffin. Those are shorter. The square ones are the same length as as the... They're like up to here, the XL, and they're shorter, something like that. And then these are the 3X. <clears throat> Where do you buy the glue activator? You can buy it um, in your, I don't know if they sell it in all nail supplies, but we do have it available on our website, or you can just try checking online. So it is kind of cold. I'm going to give it a couple seconds. Before I place it on the nail. Oh, um, each number size. I'm not sure. I never checked. But normally they're not because the thumbs are always bigger than the pinkies.
they're like similar but not exactly the same length because that would be weird you know Mamacita. Mamacita. Donde esta Santa Claus? Like, do you have to cut them and make them the same length for the press-ons? Look, these are press-on nails. I did not cut them or anything. They are the length that they are. I just glued them on. No cutting, no nothing. And they look pretty much about the same. Look at it. So from cuticle cuticle to tip they're about the same length but um <clears throat> depending on everybody's finger i guess it'd be different like i have pretty big fingers so my pinky is a number eight or something like that I'm just waiting a little bit for my acrylic to start kind of setting before I place it. Because I don't want it to go everywhere. What are you guys doing tonight? Is today Monday or Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday night. This is going to be a big ass flower, honey. A big ass flower. Una floresota para una pinche uña. Hola, Fernando. ¿Dónde has estado, honey? Yeah, my feet are getting cold. Ya no me extrañas. Claro que sí te extrañamos, Fernando, pero tú no sé dónde andabas. Ya me voy a casar. ¿De veras? Was your opinion on gel X? I personally like gel extensions. I've worn them in the past and I apply them on my sister. So I like them, but I don't offer the service on my clients. Not yet. Maybe in the future, but at the moment I don't offer it. Allá en México. Ay, a poco. ¿Y quién es el novio? So pretty. I love flowers. Does your hand ever hurt from e file? Girl, yes. My, well, not just specifically e file, it hurts from holding the hand, from filing, period. Um,. That's why I don't really care to do um to do nails that much anymore because my body hurts now. I've been doing it already for a while and it's it's fun but the pain is not fun. So just try to not overwork your body. If it hurts, it's because your hand your clients are not like they're too stiff. And they're not like relaxing or whatever. You're having to fight their hands. No, no andaba borracho, Fernando. Nomás me tomé una, un, una bebida chiquita. No era para emborracharme. Ay, 
I think I'm gonna add more flowers. I really like my flowers. Like, they're just like spring. It's springtime. Like, fuck my ombre. Chiquita y era una copota. For real. All right, so I'm gonna add more. Maybe I'll add a few smaller ones. I don't know. I'll add it up here. Normally, I have, like, a specific idea, and then I keep adding and shit, but it always ends up pretty cute, so échale, échale. All right, I'm going to put another bling bling up here. And then the pearls will be a little smaller because the design, I'm going to do smaller. Well, I'm hoping that my flower comes out smaller. Como la flor. Girl, hey. I'm sorry si no canto bonito y aquí ando yo gritando como la flor. Perdónenme. Perdónenme, pero es que me excito. Hmm. ¿Cuántas horas duras en un acrílico sencillo corto regular y cuánto en largas? Yo duro entre dos a tres horas. Depende lo que me pida la clienta. Um, si es un diseño así bien básico, nur y chiquitito, una hora y media. Ay, güey. Wrong, wrong center. Pero yo todavía me tardo por andar en el wiri, 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 wiri. Porque mis clientas son rete chismosas y les gusta chismear. A eso vienen, a chismear, no a hacerse las uñas. Por eso les digo, mejor llámenme. Llámenme por teléfono si quieren, porque eso es lo que quieren hacer, puro chisme. Pero la verdad que a mí sí me gusta el chisme, o si no, no estuviera aquí ahorita. Aunque ni estoy viendo los comments. Hey, Zule, ¿cómo estás la chisme? Uh, good, and you? Aquí, aquí. Chismeando un poquito. All right. So, le voy a echar activator para que se seque mi bling bling y mis perlitas. Let me drink some coffee. My copy is good. My copy is good. I'm going to try to make these a little bit smaller. Because they're supposed to be like little accents. How do you expand your business for more clients to come? You just have to post. Post your work. Wear your work. Do a lot of posting, tagging, hashtags. Social media is your BFF. You just have to use it. But if you don't, if you don't put yourself out there, it will be harder for you to get customers, clients, I mean. Yes, and do good work. In the beginning, obviously, we don't do very good, but... We're trying, you know. The more you practice, the better you get. And if you don't practice, then it will show, you know. That's why it's good to take pictures of all your work. That way it's like your little portfolio. I'm freaking cold, yo. Thank you, Native, for the likes. Thank you guys for the likes. I forgot about them already. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the live. We are making little florecitas at the moment. 
for my new press on set which is gonna be pearl vibes i fucked up my last set that i did so i had to replace it with another yellow set but this time is pastel pastel vibes honey do you all have any other questions you guys want to pick a topic so that i could weedy 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 all my little followers are leaving where are you guys going to sleep already are y'all going to sleepy Ya casi terminamos. Me gusta verte trabajando con las dos manos, uñas largas. Fue difícil acostumbrarse. Um, no te voy a mentir. Sí se me hizo un poco difícil al principio. Pero yo no trabajaba con uñas así de largas antes. Porque pues hace unos años las uñas, los tips no estaban así de largos. O yo nomás usaba las uñas como hasta aquí. Y poco a poquito fui alargando mi uña y me acostumbré pues a trabajar. Pero en el principio no era fácil porque, ay no, cómo batallaba para agarrar el dedo y la lima y todo eso. Pero cuando alguien quiere algo, le va a echar ganas. Can I buy what? A press on set? These are only for me. I don't I don't sell them at the moment, but maybe in the future. Hola, hermosa. Hola. Still here at work. I love your videos. I usually watch them on YouTube. Okay, girl. Thanks for the love and the support. Oh, fuck your mother sueño. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do you do when a client that says she doesn't like the nails and doesn't want to pay? Oh, hell no. That's never happened to me before where they tell me they don't want to pay. <laughs> but I had, um, let's see, how many clients? Two clients, I think, not pay me. Like, they were um, regular clients who I guess did not like that I was raising my prices. And they were, they were like, well, one of them was like, oh, I forgot my wallet. Oh, my God. I thought I had more money. Literally, she only had like $10 on her. And she was like, okay, this is your tip. And I'll bring you the rest of the money later. And, I mean, I never really thought they were not going to fucking pay me. Because I had been doing their nails for quite a while. And they never fucking came back. But never did they tell me they didn't like their nails. Hell no. I'll fucking break those nails. Oops. I at someone. Uh, most expensive nail set you've done. Um, I can't really talk about prices on here. Because I will get blocked. But. Let's just say they were bedazzled as fuck. And they were a couple hundred. They told me the other day that we're talking about prices. I, I guess TikTok doesn't allow you to talk about prices. Or they will ban you or some shit. It's so much products out there. Brands I spend in so much. I want everything. I'm just starting. Girl. Well, you gotta try different things to see what works for you and what doesn't. We all have that problem, but it's a good problem, you know? It's a good problem to have. Because you, like, all my stuff that I have, oh, my Lord, I have so much shit. But sometimes you won't use it and for a long time. Just don't, don't give anything away. Don't throw it away or anything like that. Keep um keep saving your stuff because one day one of your clients is gonna be like girl can you do this and then you're gonna be like oh my god thank god i never i never threw that away or i knew i had to buy this like because that just happened to me the other day and girl it takes a lot of concentration mm -hmm. i was in another life earlier and some girl said her prices on the set she did really 
Well, I was talking about prices the other day and one of my followers said we couldn't mention that. And I've actually seen other like lives where people scratch scratchers and things like that. And one of my followers said we couldn't mention that. And I've actually seen other like lives where people scratch scratchers and things like that. And they cross out like anything with number, like the dollar sign. So I'm not sure what to believe because I'm new here and I already got blocked on Instagram like a week or two ago and I ain't trying to get blocked from somewhere else. Okay, so I rather I rather not even speak about that. Being a left-handed person myself, do you have any tips on filing? I struggle. Girl, I be struggling too. I stay struggling, but you know what? Let me show you my new tool that is going to help all of us, whether you're a lefty or a righty. Look, at check it out. It's called the On Point Sanding Disc, okay? For me, I struggle to file my opposite hand. Well, I struggle to file any hand, but this is going to help you file your side wall straight. Like, or like, you know, if your client wants the little bitch that takes hella long to fucking file. Like, I be losing my breath when I do stiletto and my body hurts after. So, this will help you to get nice pointy sidewalls. And then to file the tin, you know. So, there you go. That's the trick, honey. You need one of those. Because, girlfriend. Um, how long does it take to create a website? Um... I wouldn't be able to give you like a specific time frame because I started little by little. I didn't really create the site myself. I, um, the domain that I use, they, oh, I'm going to put bling on this and pearls actually. They actually, you just pay like a membership and you can kind of like MySpace. You get to pick and choose what you want on it. Like color, font, and stuff like that. But I didn't like build it, build it, you know? All right, so I'm just going to kind of put in some bling, like a little line. Some bling and pearls going on in here. I know, I know, y'all going to be like, bitch, we can't even see the ombre in there no more. Like, I know, I know, that happens a lot with me. I have an idea, and then I change it. Better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. What is it called? Um, the sanding disc. It's called the on point sanding disc. It is on the um, files category. The bits and files. Mine shipped today. Can't wait. Yes, honey. It's not too late without bling, mama. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm like, I'm just going to add a little bit of bedazzle. And then boom. It's going to be fully bedazzled after this. Like just a little bit. I can't. I don't have self-control with bling. Like I just have to put some on there. And I really love the pearls right now, so that's going on there too. That's cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you get out of control with your bling bling and now you can no longer see the base. Like what happened to the shimmer top coat? It disappeared, honey. I just did a set using the pearls. Yes, girl, pearls. I was screenshotting pictures of um nails I used to do back in the day with pearls. And I'm like, man, I need to do that again. I used to love that. Like pearls and bling together just look hella bomb. 
All right, so I'm going to spray this. Alrighty. I hope this is the middle finger because, I mean, whether it's the ring finger or the other finger, it's still going to look cute. All right, let's see. What else can we do? Nothing too crazy, but nothing too simple either. Should I do a full nail of pearls? That would look so cute. Do you have tip? Uh, do you have those pearls on your website? Yes, I do. Um, which of your full cover tips are these? These are the three XL coffin. So I'm just gonna file a little bit of the tip here because. Um, I do have excess gel. Hold on. Pearls and stones. I did pearls and bling on another set. So I I feel like um pearls, all pearls will be a, a little different. I know I wanna add bling on it too, but I don't know. They're gonna be like Zulay being a copycat. <laughs> Look, let me show you guys las uñas que apenas me quité para que vean que ya tenía pearls. Miren, van a decir, Zuley, ¿no tienes otras ideas, mija? Que no, esas son las mismas, honey. Look, I did these the other day and they had pearls and bling. But I guess I'm not using yellow bling, so maybe I could do it, huh? But mostly pearls. What grip file is best for crisp shape? Um, that is more of preference. Um, you can achieve a crisp shape with any file, any grip file. You just have to put in a little muscle, honey. Um, but I like to use a hundred by a hundred grip file. Let's see, Zule, think, 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 think. Fuck it, I'm gonna do the whole nail. I'm just gonna roughen it up a little bit so they can stick real good. Real good, honey. Okay, I'm going to do it all pearls, and then I'll add bling to the other ones. Sorry, guys, whoever said do both, but I already did both the other day, and um, we're trying to start a new thing here, okay? So I'm going to start off with the really big ones. I mean, I wish I had bigger. That would be hella better, but no, we don't. I think I'm going to need more pearls for this fucking big ass nail. Like, girlfriend. I'm just going to put all these little, all these sizes so it could look like popcorn. Like pop, 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 popcorn. Um, Can you show the leopard tide? Yes, hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. My nail's crooked. Let me fix it. Let me fix my nail. Hold on. It's going to laugh. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, I don't have a Michaels around here where I live. The nearest Michaels is like 30 miles away. And it's raining, so I can't go nowhere. It's raining. It's pouring. Hey, boss. Yes, sir. I'm done blocking up. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good job. Mm. 
that poor nail. <laughs> we don't even have Michaels in Hawaii. Oh, my Lord. Michaels, why not? Why are you not in Hawaii? Do you guys have nail supplies in Hawaii? Are you hiring, girl? No, I'm not. Not right now. Maybe in the future. That was my husband. Trying to be funny here. You sound like the best boss. Mm, I don't think I'm the best boss. I'd be grouchy. Ask him. He tells me que lo maltrato. <laughs> que lo maltrato and that. I overwork him. That's what he says. Are they acrylic? No, these are press-ons. They have rubber-based gel. I can't wait to be done here yes we do ship to hawaii we actually have a few people from hawaii that order from us um oh yeah so now talking about hawaii and like other states up in here i've been wanting to do a i don't know if you guys seen on tiktok but normally people who sell and pack orders on their lives they have like a freaking map behind them or somewhere nearby and for every state that they ship to or whatever, like they market, I've been wanting to do that because um, I've been having a lot of people from all over the United States shop with me. And I was like, ooh, what if I turned it into like a fucking game? Like um, the person who's the last one to fill up the map type of thing will win something like a prize like a gift to make my packing orders exciting you know like for example if the last state happens to me missouri or some shit then when that person from that state i'm packing an order and i get an order from there that person will get a free gift that sounds kind of fun huh what does it mean if you're muted from a live video? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's a good that's a good question. I don't know. I'm new to TikTok, so I have no idea. That'll be kind of fun, huh? Did you guys did any of you guys in here watch my last live, my packing live yesterday? I could have filled the whole map yesterday, probably. It means you can't comment for, I think, five minutes. Oh, why does that happen? Is it because they're trying to bully me or something? Or because you comment too much? Or why does that happen? Does anybody know? That's cute. Thank you. <clears throat> they get muted because they're being rude. Oh. Okay, girl. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Um, oh shit. Hey, girlfriend. Hi, Bethany. How are you? Welcome. I wait. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen. I was trying to ask about the pearls, but then I said I was muted. <laughs> oh my god, honeycomb. Oh well, good thing you're unmuted now. These pearls, I have them available on my website, so y'all can go check them out if you want to. They're like white, like iridescent. So pretty. I did not even move. Moderators can mute or the host if someone is being rude. 
I haven't even moved, so it was not me. I'm over here working, honey. Don't be blaming me. I don't I never block nobody. If somebody's being rude to me or whatever, if if and when people are rude to me, I fight back, okay? I do not block anyone. <laughs> You don't know me. What is the best brand for gel polish for beginners? To be honest, um, I haven't really tried many brands. I gave up years ago with gel because it was new and I just didn't love it. So I've only used my own brand or what the fuck is this brand called? Um, um, what is that brand? I want to say it's called eye gel. No, it's not eye gel. I don't fucking know what it's called, but it sucks. Uh, the one that I used to buy on nail supply. That was the reason why I gave up on gel. And I haven't really tried any other ones. So, noche. What is that gel brand called? No, it's not eye gel beauty. For some reason, I felt like it was eye gel, but I don't remember. Noche. No, it was not eye gel. It's something else. But they sell it at the nail supply. Like, no, no, no. And I only bought them because they were cheap. So don't always go for cheap stuff. Because you'll get highly disappointed. I had to put like 20 million coats because the colors are not pigmented enough. But then again, this was years ago. So I hope I hope that's not a thing anymore. No, D&D &D was not a thing when I started doing nails. It was definitely not them. Um... I can't remember the name of the brand, to be honest. I have a really bad memory. All I know is that Metromaro with gel. That's why I stopped using it for a long time. Chafa is never good. Mm -mm. For the most part, no. So let me tell y'all. I had to call it ordered some Mickey ears on Amazon. Um, because I was being impatient, right? Tell me why those fucking dumbass ears be looking like the la 99. Like, no mames, way. I'm like, Lord, I'm never again buying this on Amazon. Like, I thought somebody made them. <laughs> I thought, you know, like how people make them and stuff? I didn't even check how much it was. I just love the ears. I sent a screenshot to my sister. And I was like, dude, can you buy me this? Can you order this for me? Because she's the one with the Amazon account. I feel like I'd be dangerous on Amazon. So I just don't buy on Amazon. Fuck that. So I was like, nah, fuck that. Nah, nah, nah. We need to see them. Girl, the, no, the camera doesn't do them justice. I showed them to my sister. And she's like, they don't look that bad. Or like, I could have told you that they were going to be cheap. Like, bitch, shut up. And then I ordered my dog a costume on there no mames that mas chava que la verga parecía like if it was from fashion nova or something you know fashion nova shit sucks as i guess it's a hit and miss with fashion nova i guess let me not say that but i'm like oh hell no not ordering anything on amazon no more like mm -mm. <sighs> or maybe i just have bad luck with the things i purchase we need to see them. I have them. Where did I leave them? I have to return them, actually. Hey, girl, I received my top coat polish today, and I can't wait to use it tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, yes, Paulina. She was the winner from my from my video the other day. You're going to love it. Damn, that was fast. Like, I just posted the video like two days ago, huh? You already got it. Yes, honey. So y'all see, I be coming through. 
I don't be fucking lying. I actually give. I do ship my gifts. I don't know if people fucking lie anymore, but when I started to do nails, when people had giveaways, they would lie and they would never ship nothing to people. They were like little scammers. I hope people are not like that no more, but mm -mm -mm. I'm glad you received it, girl. Hey, girl. Hi. This nail is taking forever. Like, oh, honey, you're taking so long. How many pearls does my nail have? Especially the ones that they on iPhones. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, they have an iPhones. Wait, I missed the joke. What are you guys talking about? I'm so excited. I'm going to go to Disneyland. I'm going to wait at Disney. Oh, man. Oh my god, I'm loving the pearl vibe. Doesn't it look so sexy? Wait till you see it together, honey. Together with the rest of the nails. I know you guys would love this because I used to do this so much back in the day. And it was a thing, honey. Only that the small pearls are not that small. So, oh shit, oh shit. Where about they wait? How long does the glue take to dry? I got my first bottle today. Um, it depends to be honest. I can't, I've never really timed it, but depending on the weather, it can dry super fast or slower. But if you want more time for it to dry, put it over top coat. So there's like a teeny weeny little gap at the tip. I'm just going to leave it like that because my pearls are not that little. So if I try to put anything else, it's just going to make it funny. Like, like, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the activator now that I'm done with these. So that it can dry super, super good. Ooh, look, girl. Fancy. Oh, girl, honey. Como te llamas, chica? All right, let me drink some coffee now. Aren't they looking cute? True or nah? Um, let's see. I heard Swarovski's pulling... Is pulling their individual authorized sellers and sticking with in-house only. Um, what do you mean? Pulling their in the well since October of last year, um, they stopped selling to a lot of people, so they're they're not supposed to be available for us anymore. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and file this a little bit. Yeah, so we're like both now. Once they're out, that's it. No more for us. Um, Why would they want to stop sales? Well, from what I heard last year... Um... They want to be more of a luxury brand, so I could see why they don't want us to buy. I heard that the Preciosa brand is Swarovski. So maybe that's like a sister company. I don't know. But their quality is good as well. And literally is the same price as Swarovski. So if it's a sister brand, then we could fuck with that, you know. All right, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do to the other nails because they do look kind of sad. Like, Soleil, you, you forgot about me. How do you keep your pearls shiny? Mine, my shine disappears in days. 
Well, over time, with rubbing and all of that, the the little thing will rub off. So I would say put a little bit of top coat if you want to um, keep the little shine on. But to be honest, I think they still look nice even if they're not shiny. Like, look at my little thumb one is rubbing off. Like, personally, I don't care because I know it's going to happen, you know, but... If you care, then put top coat on it. Put a, like, put it really um wet and then just try to get in the creases. I don't know how that looks and I'm not going to attempt it, but um, let us know. Let us know how it went, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, but just pearls are just not forever lasting, you know? Um, I'm not for sure if it is a sister brand or not, okay? This is just what I think. The Preciosa, I think, could be potentially a sister brand. Mm, I wish you can do my nails. I'm in Lake Elsinore. Girl, mommy hustler. I'm accepting new clients, but I do have um, 200 and... Oh, wait. I can't even fucking speak prices. Um, go to my Instagram. You'll see my base, my minimum. You have to, there's requisitos for long length, extra long, long to extra long length. I just made a post earlier today, actually. I remember they used to have full stores with huge or crystal cravings of animals and shit. Yeah, they do have like their official Swarovski store. They do have like all this little thingies like little crystal figurines and stuff okay stop being now check it out okay girl oh girl you know what i just remembered i have this charm girlfriend hold on Pinches diamonds are going all crooked. Ooh, oh, wow. Yes, it's a cool way. It's okay if my bling is going sideways. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's just for the photo. All right. Let me see if I have my charm up in here. Um, hmm. I thought I was sworn I had it right here. Hold on. Hello, Charm. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Here it is. We're going to be fancy. Hold on, guys. This one. Wow. Wow, honey. Look at you. Look at you, honey. Oh, my God. So sexy. Oh, shit. It fell. Let me see if this sexy nail. I don't know if I should put it on the thumbnail. In the nude nail, huh? Will look cute. Like, girl, pearls. Pearls on pearls on pearls on pearls. Oh, my God. Do you guys think I should put it on the thumb or on the nude nail? The thumb never have no love, huh? Thumb. Yes, thumb. Thumb, okay. The thumb never get no love. I'm trying to figure out where should I put it or should I make it dangle, bitch? That would be kind of cool. Dangle, 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 dangle. Do your shang hang now. I think I'll make it dangle. Just to be different, you know? 
I'm different. I'm different, bitch. Okay, okay. Let me take on my cluster gel. All right, so I'm going to be using my little cluster gel to stick on the charm. Um, let me get my little... Oh, shit. This is not the brush. I'm going to use my gel brush. Um, these are from my website as well. I think right now they might show as sold out because I haven't updated my inventory. But I need to do that because somebody was just asking for them. So I'm just going to put the little blob. As a matter of fact, when I'm done out of here, I need to go update those charms because... They were asking me this morning about another specific one. So I'm just going to squeeze that on top. I'm going to make sure that I press it in so it doesn't fall off. And this gel's like a gel glue. So that shit is going to be stuck, stuck, stuck. Let me just turn it around and make sure I put it on straight. All right, I'm going to let it dangle. All right, so I'm going to put this in the lamp carefully so it doesn't move. Oh my God, these nails are looking so cute. How do you clean your brush after applying the cluster gel? I normally wipe off the excess on a napkin like this and then stick it in acetone. I stick it in acetone and once it's out of the acetone, I put top coat on it to kind of hydrate the bristles. But I don't have any acetone right now or I would show you I ran out. That's why I haven't really done my nails either because I ran out of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of bling on this one only because it looks a little sad. I have been piercing mine again with a little hoop. Old habits die hard. <laughs> How do you clean? Oh, wait, I already read that. Tuto leopard, please. Um, CC lashes, the tutorials on my YouTube channel. I uploaded it a few days ago. Go check it out. My YouTube channel is the same as um, here. So for this one, let's see. I'm just going to do like a little something kind of simple-ish vibes. You know, because we don't want... um. I mean, if it was up to me, it is up to me, but... I would like leave this nail like hella bedazzled, but I want my little sparkleness to show too. So I'm just gonna do a little line with some bedazzles here. Some little bling bling. Oh no, you know what? You know what? No, never mind. I will just stick it on. A la verga. We're gonna take it. Fully old school, honey. Hold on, let me find my clippers. What time is it? It's 8.48. Okay, so early. Hello, Keisha from London. Everything that I use is from my website. Let me clip this off. So from the gel to the glue to the everything... All right, I'm just going to let me get my white gel. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hmm. White gel, where are you? Here you are. Okay, so the white gel is number 21. 
I'm just going to shaky, 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 shaky. Um, the mat is from um, Swaggy Tags Official. They create the logo for you if you don't have one. And if you're going to get one, they did give me a discount code so that you can save 20 I think it's $21. So use code Zule at checkout. Come on, you stupid brush. Get over here. Oh my lord. All my brushes are dirty. Well, they're not all dirty, but I don't have acetone. Why? All right, let me let me try to clean this one with alcohol. Yeah, I don't have that many TikTok lives, but I'm starting to feel the love here, so I'm gonna be here more often. So let me just clean. That's not trash, Patrick. It fell in there. All right, so I wiped off the gel with alcohol but normally the acetone will take it off faster and since my palette is being used by my press-ons i'm just gonna put it on top of the lid for now and i'm just kind of separating my bristles on just clear gel so if your bristles are ever like stiff and shit just do this and they will kind of um separate it's kind of like when you have stiff eyelashes you know you get your brush and you kind of separate them so i'm gonna do some old school shit here haven't done this in a while so hopefully we make it a trend again where we do the little boxes if you old you know hey all right hold on I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to draw some lines so I cannot look at the screen right now. And then I struggle talking also. So. I'm using my 2-in-1 liner brush. So just in case y'all going to ask, somebody can answer for me, por favor. I love... Oh, shit. It's okay, that little line will not be visible shortly. I love these brushes because I feel like a professional when I draw something because I cannot draw for shit. Like, yeah, okay, we're already doing a lot on the nails, so do a little extra, honey. You holding your breath for me? <laughs> Are you doing any giveaways? Um... I've been holding off on my giveaways, actually. I did buy an electric file not too long ago. So I'm going to be giving that away, I think, with my map. Um, I was talking about a map idea that I have for my customers. Maybe I'll do it then. Or who knows? Maybe I'll do it for my class. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna cure this in the lamp really quick. Just for like 10 seconds. Oh, I forgot about my Chanel over here. Mm, what is the stick you're using to hold the nail? I need that. It's, um, I call it a press-on holder. It has like a little magnet. So you could put it on the stick. Hi. All right, so now that I kind of cured the lines a little bit, I'm going to cross them. Like intersect, I guess. And kind of like create boxes, a box effect. And if the, the lines are not that perfect, 
it's okay because I'm going to add some bling right now. I need to get more of those stands. You can never have enough because I be dropping them. How do you keep the nail on that on that as you're working on it? Um, I use this thing called Tacky Tacky or I've been using... Oh, shit. I've been using um the little press on tabs. Shit, I fucked up my nail. But I'm not getting it weedy weedy. It's okay, guys. Don't panic. We can fix. Um, let me find a freaking brush here. I'm get a little bit of alcohol and just clean. So that's why it's, it's good that I cured my lines because if I fuck up, I could fix it. I'm trusting the process. <laughs> yes, always trust the process, okay? Some of my clients be, like, scared of me sometimes. Um, well, back in the day, they used to be a little scared. Like, what the fuck is she making? Like, that's not looking cute. But then at the end, it's like, girl, boom. Like, sexy nail. This would have looked cute also with the Chanel. I wish I would have thought of that before I put it on the thumb. But it looks cute on the thumb too, so. Back in the day, I used to um do like flowers. You could even do flowers here and then put the little boxes around. Super cute. All right, let me put this in the lamp. Right now, you'll see. You'll see, honey. <sighs> Let's see. Let me close this before I mess it up. And let me wipe my lid over here before it dries with my lamp or I touch it or something. All right. So, this is what the nails be looking like. I'm be looking hella extra with this like shing, 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 my little Chanel. Like fishnets, uh huh. Yes, I caught a live funny. I'm on the phone watching this one, and I wait, hold on. And you on YouTube on my laptop, okay, Jazzy girl. Don't forget to watch the ads, okay? If y'all on my YouTube channel, watch the ads, please. Don't skip them because then a girl don't get no five cents or anything. And how am I supposed to keep up this casino fund? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to put bling. All right. How, how are you guys liking my nails so far? Hmm? Girl, I love those nails. Do you sell any of the materials? Yes, ma'am. I sell everything, honey. Everything. You need gel polish? I have. You need um, nail tip? I have. I have pearls. I have bling. Everything that I use today is from my store. The link is on my bio. Um, haces las clases en persona. Um, a la, sí, a la madre uno. Uy, sí, las clases son en persona. Alrighty, so because this gel is a normal freaking. Hmm, should I do top coat or matte coat? Y'all think I should have a matte, a matte nail? Or should we keep it shimmery for the shimmer? Fuck it. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. Matte. All the time I freaking ask. I, I don't even know why I ask out loud. Because everybody's going to be like, yes, do it matte. Do it matte. Okay, okay. I was just thinking matte. <laughs> okay, fine. Pa que pregunto la verga. Okay, so I'm going to be using this matte top coat. I wish I could attend. I'm all the way in Denver. Girl, you can come. I have people that have came from far as fuck. 
Uh, right now, I don't know where my my people are coming from, my students. But in the past, I've had people come from like Iowa, from the fucking middle of the map and shit. And I'm like, oh my god, I feel special. Like low key, I'm like, oh my god. So come through, girl, come through. Get you a little friend and come together. It's once in a lifetime. Damn, I don't think I cured this correctly. Oh. Oops. I think one of my lines kind of mm, smudged. Pero pues, ahorita lo vamos a poner bling bling y no pasa nada. No pasa nada. Alright, I'm gonna um, close my pearls before I fucking drop them. What's the price range of the classes? Um, the details are on my Instagram. Um, I can't discuss pricing here because I don't want to get banned. But you can check out my Instagram page. It's Zulace Nails right here. And um, I have the information for both classes there. How much did you cure the lines, girl? I don't even think the lamp turned on the second time, to be honest. But I just flash cured them a little bit because, you know, I'm on... I'm on live, but oh yeah, 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 medio sueño. But if this was on a client, I would cure them fully, like for the thirty seconds to a minute. Brown, sissy lashes. What did I ask? Brown what? Brown, brown, brown. I have something stuck in my fucking tooth. But uh, I know I showed them to you guys earlier. But I'm so proud of my little Disney nails. Look how cute. I did this on my last last live on here on TikTok. So if you guys want to watch how I created this. You can go on my YouTube as well. I did post. Um, I posted this tutorial. And this one. I did these. Um. I don't remember if I was on TikTok or on Instagram live when I did these. But both tutorials are now on my YouTube channel. Ooh, girl, that looks so cute. All right, so I'm going to put bling on here. I'm going to go with like the medium-ish bling because we need to be able to see it. So... Back in the day, we used to put the bling in the middle of the little boxes or where the line intersects. I'm going to do it where the line intersects because I want to still see some nude, you know? So that's optional for you. And then depending on the lines, like where they intersect is the size of the diamond that I like to put. Um, so I'll put probably a smaller bling up there. So it doesn't look like hella cray cray, you know? You know what I mean, jelly bean? And these crystals are, um, I believe, moonlight. They come in a box of six sizes. I use the black version of these for the Mickey ones. They are not Swarovski, but they sparkle very beautiful for beginners if y'all want something that looks cute and sparkly, but on a budget, honey, good for you, okay? You could be a bedazzler, too. A ver. Ya me estaba viendo la pinche panza, la verdad. Yes, these are press-ons. I'm going to take a picture with them right now in a little bit and put them on Instagram. No manches, pinches tripas. Me duele ña la verga. So I, I ended up choosing these crystals because they do have like, they're like iridescent-ish. But they do have like a yellow undertone so they can match with the pastel. The pastel yellow nails. And the pearls. Mm, no. 
Do you get your nails done by someone else sometimes? No, I've I've only gotten my nails done by my sister and by Mimi. But I for the most part I always do my nails. I enjoy doing my nails. And it's important for me to do my nails so that when I'm in the street and shit and people be like, oh my god, let me see your nails. I can show them my nails and be like, I did them. I did them. So if y'all don't wear your nails and you do nails, you better fucking start wearing them. Okay, and this is your sign. You need to start doing your fucking nails so you can promote yourself in the street. Especially if you struggle getting clients now. Um, struggle no more. Okay, that's going to be your thing. Shoo, wale, wale. Shoo, bang, bang. So cute. I love when you do videos with Mimi. <laughs> Girl, the last video we did. Oh, fuck. She was fucking funny. She made me laugh. I was like, oh my God, I don't think I could do the skit. Okay, Michelle, I see you placing the order, girl. Thank you, honey. All right, and I'm gonna add one more to this little corner. One more little diamond. Yeah, I get all la way. I get all the bling bling now. Okay, hold on. Let me close these bitches. ASMR, ASMR. And for those of you guys who use my glue, I recommend that you do not close it all the way. Um like you just leave it like this and boom you'll be able to open it each and every time it looks like it's open but it's not you just kind of push it down and it will be good it'll be gucci wow check them out what you think que tal que tal um the video you guys did was so funny huh it was so cute and funny why do you have to refrigerate the glue? So you have to refrigerate all glues. Personally, I believe all glues should be refrigerated because they dry up. Um, They dry up. Glue dries up over time. Oh, fuck. So you want to... Fuck, this shit doesn't want to come off. So if you refrigerate it, Oh my god, I lifted my nail, guys. Okay. Um, if you refrigerate it, your glue will last longer. Like it the whole bottle won't dry up the insides. Not just mine, but just all glues in general. Like glue doesn't have the longest shelf life in the world. So by putting it in the refrigerator and keeping it nice and cool. Your glue bottles or your glue tubes, they won't dry up. You know, like when you go and look for your cola loca, that shit's dry as fuck. Because you leave it laying around in the summer to seca la verga todo. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going to glue them on right now so y'all can see how popping they be. Ahorita me ando arrancando esta mira. Boom. Miren. My, look at my nail. And I painted it with gel. So I hurt this nail like machine. That's what's like sticking up. Look, uh, it's it's lifted all the way. Like literally, I barely have nail. That's why I have press-ons. So I have some rubber base gel. You can see here that I kind of ripped it off when I was taking off the yellow one. This one fucking hurt. That was the bitch that didn't want to come off. Um... The pink part is the rubber-based gel that I had. And when I was taking off the yellow nails earlier, I ripped off part of it. That's why I say to put rubber-based gel so that it protects your natural nail if you're going to adhere them with glue. If you're not going to adhere them with glue, then um, you don't have to do that part, but just... 
just to protect your nails i would recommend now let me find my little tabs i literally just had them right now so i could glue these on hold on let me get some more porque se me perdieron but look here this is what I use to glue them on the little the little stand. My sister got these on Amazon for me. Fucking bitch. No puedo hacer ni madre sin pinches uñas malditas. A ver. They have like a little... A little thing here. Yes, I cannot do shit without nails. So I'm going to do the thumb. Let me... Let me take them off these things first. So see, it even stays on the little thing. That'll be for another, another nail. All right, so I'm gonna get the thumb because I have a biggest finger. I get the biggest one. And then you're gonna put it in there. And rub, 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 rub. So it could stick real good, honey. And then you peel this off. Like that. And then we're going to stick it on. Push it hard. Casi, casi like if you're waiting for it to clip on. Like, clip. You know, and ooh, girl, look at this. It's stuck. All right. If you want them to be a little bit more secure, then... You glue them on. Damn, that shit got stuck. You glue them with glue. But I don't want them to be super stuck. So I'm not going to glue them with glue. I wait. All right, let me take this off. So I could. Put on the next one. I have really big fingers. So I need a big glue tab. So I'm going to get this one. Oh, shit. And if you have big nails, you need big tabs, all right? Buy keratin three-day treatment. For what? For my nails? So you add glue to rhinestones, you don't have to cure them? No, because this glue air dries. All right, then my next nail. Make sure you're gluing them on straight. All right, just press. Okay. This is like sick ASMR up in here. I can't wait to put the pearl nail on, sadly. Hold on. Ooh. Se cayó. Let me make sure this one even goes on my middle finger. I think. Wait a minute. It's because my middle finger, my ring finger, my index finger are similar sizes. So I have to make sure. I think this one is my middle finger. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> perfect, honey. Okay. So the pearls are my middle finger. Because that one's a little bit bigger. So let me get... I'm going to use a thumb one on this one because she... Honey, your finger big, big. And I don't want it to come off right now. <clears throat> yes, unless that's a deal, you have one, you steal one. ¿Qué te pasó en tu ring finger? Me metí un putazo de mi vida hace como un mes, pero me está creciendo la uña. So, por eso me, me hago presents para sentirme mujer todavía. Pa poder tener uñas en todos los dedos, porque no manches, luego no puedo hacer ni madres. Pero ahorita nomás me la estoy pegando así bien poquito, no mucho con estas cositas, porque no quiero que me duren tanto. Si quieres que te dure, entonces pones, ponle glue. 
you're not scared the ring finger now will rip off since it's lifted already um yes and no that's why i'm putting on press on so if i get hurt the nail just flies off the fake one you know because normally i put acrylics but i'm more likely to get hurt with the acrylics and then i'm put you know at least right here i have a temporary one like oh my god it's so cute or i could just take it off after the picture L literally i just do the nails for the picture and to entertain y'all and teach you something but i don't want to do acrylics on myself you know because that just takes well i mean these take a long time too but then i i can do another video until like a couple weeks and this method i could do them every day and switch them out dream come true and then i could save them for an emergency you know are the little glue tabs they i don't know this is my first time trying them on like this so ta -da! check it out Voila, honey. Do they look like press-ons or what? Maybe just this one. You could tell a little bit on the cuticle because they're not like literally all the way down. But they pass, girl. They still look good, honey. I wish you sell them done. Maybe in the future I will, but I don't know. I'm still practicing to get them down good because this is like my fourth set that I've done. Oh my God, I love them. Yes, girl. I'm going to take a picture and post them on my Instagram. So y'all better go fucking like them once they're up, all right? Which nail is your favorite? If you had to choose one nail, which one is your fave? Does your ring finger hurt at all? No, I heard it like a month ago. The thumb, pearls, ring, the flower one, the flower one, the flower one. <laughs> yeah, the flower always wins. The ring thing, uh, the pearl nail. Did you guys think the pearls were going to look this fucking cute? I'm glad I did a full pearl nail. So y'all know where you saw it first, you know, Zule's nail TikTok. All oh, the index. Okay, one of them. Finally, index nail. Um, Which tips you use? These are the 3X full well from my website. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay, ya me voy a dormir con mis uñas fresh. Old school squares, yep. Yeah. Hold on, let me scratch with my new nails. Ay, güey, ya me dio hipo. They're perfect. Index, but uh, okay, two for the index. A ver, me quedé una chueca. A ver, déjame la muevo un poquito. Y... I see if it was only that easy on an actual client, huh? Hold on, it's a little crooked. E, e. <sighs> Love the shape. Thank you, honey. Good night, everyone. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm going to try to make this a thing, you know, Tuesday TikTok lives. So make sure to come find me here on Tuesdays. Maybe more often, but for sure at least once a week. Um, don't forget to go shop at your favorite nail supplies, Zule's Nails, <laughs> Um, But all jokes aside, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And go watch these nail tutorials. Good night, everyone. I'll see you next time. Um, yes, we do sell beginner kits. They are under kit. Kits. Um category all right good night everyone have a beautiful 
What's today? Tuesday night. See you tomorrow on the Instagram. I will if I have some money. Girl, well, we're going to go make some money or go watch on YouTube. You don't need money there. You just need to go like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And that shit. Okay? Oh, and watch the ads. Don't skip them. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, amigas. Bye. How the fuck do I close the sheet?